I am often asked, what is codependency? What does it even mean? And for me, it's such a good question. I've seen over the years how codependence has become one of those words that gets overused. And when that happens, the real meaning can get conflated or it be can become over expansive. And the result is a lot of confusion. I define codependence as the disease of the lost self. And at a deep level, what this means is that anytime I look outside of myself for something that can only come from the inside, I can find myself in a codependent relationship with whatever that is. As I often say when I'm teaching or talking about my lived experience with this thing, I've been in codependent relationships with handbags and shoes. And while that might sound a little ridiculous at some level, the idea is that when the search for what is within us is directed outside of us, we begin to mistakenly believe that joy and fulfillment can be found in people or places or things or education or behaviors or substances or experiences. And while there's absolutely nothing wrong inherently with any of those things, none of them are the source of true joy and fulfillment. The question then becomes, how do we lose ourselves? And then how do we recover what was lost or hidden or covered? I wanna invite you into this inquiry with me in, in a workshop that's called Breaking Barriers, Transforming the Samskara of Codependency. Samskara means conditioning or habits or patterns. And in this workshop, we'll look at the root of the problem of codependency, the solution to the problem from many perspectives, including Western and Eastern psychology, where we'll look at this through the lens of yoga and Vedanta. And we'll also offer ideas into how to develop a program of action for healing. So to find out more about breaking barriers, transforming the Simscar of codependency, you can click in the link in bio or below. I would love to be in this very important inquiry with you. Thank you.